here's a tip on how to edit a design to remove parts of it. Um, so I have a square design and I want to remove three parts so that you have a triangle left. Let me show you how that's done. So go into Pattern CAD. Then you're going to open your pattern, select pattern. I'm just going to choose this first one here. And just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to rotate it because I want to break this out into triangle pieces. So first I'm going to select all over to the right, and then I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Now I'm going to go back to select and unselect all. Now I have my nodes button checked on the top left so that I can see all of the nodes, and these are things that I'm able to edit right now. And over on the right is where I'll mostly be working. So as you can see, um, well, let's say you want to stitch this in an area, this in a block, but then you only want to stitch the triangular, triangular part in a block next to your block, if that makes sense. So what you're going to need to do is delete a lot of these portions out. So what you do is, with the Select button highlighted, I'm just going to come over and start selecting. And everything that's red is something that I can work with. So then I come over here to the right and select Delete. So those are gone. Well, I don't also want this little half moon, so I'm going to delete that. And sometimes you have to delete more than one or two uh, red dots in order for them all to delete out. So then I would come over to this side and just start doing the same thing. And then I'm just going to grab this whole thing down here. And keep going. I'm trying not to select something that I don't want highlighted. And you can also uh, zoom in to make it easier on yourself. And so here, I'm just going to keep deleting. There. And now, I have a portion of that original design. The green circle shows where my design is going to start stitching, and the red shows where it is going to stop. So now if you needed to change this any other way, like um, let's say you maybe you wanted to move this square or this, this line out some. So I highlighted it, and I'm going to move it over to here. And then I'm going to, I will unselect it. I'm going to select the one on the left and move it the same way. And But because I've got my grid marks, I can see what I've done so or where I'm going so that I know I want to be three marks over. Or Let's see, it's one, two, and then over here I have one, two as well. So let's say I want to move this. Well, I've still got this one highlighted, so guess what? When I move it, it's going to move them both. So I don't want to do that. You can always hit undo if you do something wrong. So I always just do unselect all. That just makes it easy. Um, so then I might select this. And maybe I want to move it like that. Unselect all. Select this one. And move it. So there's a lot you can do with that. And it's a good way to cut out a portion of your pattern.